Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is my God Hard. It's not God Hard, Chris, why do you keep saying that? Oh, nice hitbox game, love it. God Hand, hard mode fun run. This is stage 2 4, beware arrow bridge, something like that. I'm fighting a lady and uh, one of the standard brown dudes who now has a mohawk, so he's a slightly more fashionable and a little bit more dangerous. But if you didn't notice what happened at the beginning there, I did a move and it hit the woman behind me because the the hurt boxes and the hit boxes on this game are fascinating. If there was one way that I would change God Hand when it came to adding to the combat, I would have included techniques that are designed to hit people behind you. I would have included roulettes, uh, I would have included like bicycle kicks, uh, I don't know, like um, like a back kick that kicks people in the balls. Um, you can. This looks amazing by the way, this is the first time I used my reels to do something fun that looked awesome, and of course I got a demon so now I'm terrified I'm gonna fuck this up. <laughs> Because it's just sods law, isn't it? I do that really fun, really easy thing to do, but it looked cool as shit, so I'm like, please don't die. Please, well, don't get hit, technically. And the demons are very scary. Be careful if you trip the demon, too. If it doesn't class as a counter hit, he will immediately counter. There's me trying to do a, uh, a prompt cancel with a move that has longer startup than the move I'm used to, so I mess it up completely. <laughs> But you can see when an enemy is chasing you and they're always going to do a running attack when they get behind you regardless of if they're on screen or not because it's just how God Hand works. So if you could do these techniques that enable you to do that, I think that would be great. Because um, I just I like the idea of, of somebody thinking they've got the advantage but, but they don't. And this fight right now is the reason this level took me like two hours to get. Because when you fuck up, you've got to do the full thing again and it's just... It's really unfair, but the good news is, is I, I managed to, to trim two parts of two different videos together here because when I messed up, I skipped that entire first two fights to get back to these guys because they don't seem to follow you across the, the arrow bridge. One thing I noticed as well is that the arrows don't fire if these elites are on, on that path because I lured them back to try and fight them with the arrows to try and get like a super sexy fight and the arrows weren't firing. Uh, I don't really know why. Um, I couldn't do anything too particular, but this is just two two people with very high life and a highly damaging weapon. I don't know why that red dude flew down there, because it didn't look like that's where he should have gone. But I'm not going to complain, because divide and conquering here can be really useful. But it's so easy to do silly mistakes and get hit when you face enemies that take this much damage. Which is why I was so grateful I could run past those first two encounters. That was really nice too. That's probably the second favourite thing I've done in this video. Easy to do, it's not exactly difficult, but it just looked so cool. And that's why I like God Hand so much. There are a lot of games that I play, and all I really do is, you know, full efficiency. I never really play them to look nice. God of War is one. All I do on that game is what works, and I really enjoy playing that game that way. I don't find the combos in that game to be that interesting, I just find them kind of boring. Ninja Gaiden 2 is a game I play for function, although that game has a ton of really cool combos that I kind of never use, because you get hit, and it, and it puts you off using them, even though they are really fun. Uh, same with Ninja Gaiden 1. Ninja Gaiden 1, Wind Path, Guillotine Throw, Izuna Drop, that's like all I do, and then I use Essence to chain UTs, that's it. Um, it's kind of how I've always played those games, really. But in this game, I don't know what it is. It's just like Bayonetta, there's something about wanting to do really crazy fun high octane juggles and and just just go crazy and it's kind of similar to Devil May Cry in that I think because in Devil May Cry I was always trying to do things that looked fun but for the most uh, I wasn't doing the best job because I was never that good at those games as much as I really really do love them so it's just that feeling of it feels good to fight and uh, this is a game where this is probably the game where I think it feels the best to fight because everything you do, if you time it right and you get that reward, it looks so good. Uh, unfortunately, though, it's it's difficult to see in this game when you do something technical because there's not that much technical stuff in it. Uh, so when it does happen, the only person who saw it is another guy who's probably quite good at the game, and everyone else is just like, "This cool, this game is fun." <laughs> so it's one of those things where it's. Um, 
you kind of don't see the complexity, but you will if you play it, and I hope you do play it. So thank you for watching, and you take care now.